In today's video, we are going to discuss the true secrets that society chooses not to bring awareness to when it comes to cannabis. Let's get into the video here, creatures. Oh. I bet a ton of you didn't know that by 1937, cannabis was already being used in America for medicinal reasons. I personally wasn't aware for this one. Our bodies actually produce the exact same cannabinoid compound that is found in marijuana. Wonder why it's such a good relation there, huh? It turns out nobody has ever overdosed on marijuana. And the cannabis, <laughs> the cannabis plant is over 6,000 years old. That is older than half of your prehistoric grandparents. This one here is my personal favorite. I only learned about this this morning doing research for this video. Marijuana slash the THC is known for its power of connecting you to your higher self. I always had this revolution inside of me. I always felt that energy inside of me and I have to thank marijuana so much y'all for helping me with my mental health and helping me structure new thought processes that have benefited me in so many ways. I still have work to do however. I realize now so much of my true potential and there is still so much more that this mind has no idea about here yet. How exciting is that? This, this plant that is part of nature truly has the ability to bring out your own awareness. Use it properly, y'all. Creatures, get this. Ancient shamans in Peru have used marijuana for numerous years, like I'm talking thousands of years, to bring awareness of their higher selves, well as other dimensions and essentially a different and healthier realities. Think about that for a second. I, I personally am on like a belief here right now that that is potentially how the pyramids and things were brought to effect back then, like the awareness. I'm gonna do more research there. That is mind altering. It's, that's so exciting. Marijuana can be used as a medicine for you with pain, whether that's chronic or emotional. Uh, emotional pain can be real, y'all. It's, it's there. However, you have to use it with the right knowing. You have to accept the reality there behind it of what you are putting into your body. And I don't mean that in a way that it's unhealthy for you. You just simply have to be aware of your personal limits because we're all one at the end of the day, but our nervous systems, our brains, like things up there are essentially structured chemistry wise in a different way so knowing your thc levels and knowing what kind of dope you are essentially putting into you that is a big thing to remember here folks in other words fuck an aspirin screw an advil use your mj make sure as well that if you are going to use marijuana and you're on other medications that you research that there because mixing chemicals like that that can cause some issues. It's like when you go downtown and you are like, oh, well, these pills, my depression pills or my anxiety pills are gonna get me more fucked up if I drink here tonight. And it's like, wrong. Like, don't be doing that to your system. Like, what are you doing? Wake up, what are you doing? <laughs> Creatures, in 1924, a doctor claimed to have a cure for cancer. In my personal belief, he did. Marijuana can be used as a substitute and in my personal opinion i'm not a doctor but i am a human it should be instead of you know chemotherapy that eats away at your body radiation like no 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 i'll just come out and smoke my plant thank you though sir essentially you know cancer is coming at you from attacking your blood cells and not enough oxygen is getting into your system so Don't forget to give yourself a mindfulness minute, y'all. Get out in nature. Inhale the nature. <laughs> I'm sure that this is a shock for a lot of people. You know, there is still some prehistoric dimensions <laughs> existing in people's minds around here, especially in St. John's creatures. Personally, I don't think St. John's was ready for the release of marijuana. So many people have that stigma still there that it is a, a gateway drug. It's going to bring you downhill. And it's like, no, you bring yourself downhill. Like, that's reality. Marijuana is so much safer than alcohol, folks. The comparison there, in my opinion, they are nowhere near the same level. Whatsoever. From a study 
from uh, Harvard University, but 3.3 million people died of alcohol-related death. For people to be comparing marijuana and alcohol, like, it's two different realities. It truly is. Alcohol is toxic. It is nothing but killing you. It is nothing but giving you cancer. End of story on that part. Marijuana is better and healthier than alcohol. Creatures, if you're not one for lighting up, you can turn to hemp products. From my research, there is a seven day hemp challenge of protein, like all of that good stuff. For vegans. And I was never aware of that, but I, and I will be absolutely doing that adventure there. And I'll take you guys on it in a future video. I'm excited for that. Hemp is also responsible for nearly 25,000 materials out there, y'all. Even like building structures. Is there hemp in this plant here? Like, can I roll myself a J here in the wood? Like, I'm down for it. I'm literally here sitting between tipped over tree here, probably got knocked down by lightning or something. To my right, there is a dead rabbit that got tagged. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the rabbit, I'm just laughing at myself here. <laughs> there is a dead rabbit that literally looks like it was attacked by a fox or a coyote. And he's there and rotting away. His shell, his corpse, and I, I blessed him though. I'm like, I'm dead, I'm, I'm dead serious. I blessed that little creature. Sin, y'all. You harmful nature. Like, what is on the go there? Cannabis can be used for so many neurological disorders, such as anxiety, depression. If you have any of those issues, go forward with that risk of speaking to your doctor. The sad reality behind it here, though, is like so many doctors are stuck in that prehistoric time of thinking that marijuana is a gateway drug and it's like no these doctors clearly need to go back and <laughs> re-educate themselves here as well oh. <laughs> i'm trying to switch the angle here like the sun was really in okay it's beautiful oh this is cute look at the colors here on the screen okay don't get mad at a glare focus on the colors they're beautiful i might as well get into it my own personal experience y'all a little over a year ago at this point, my grandfather was randomly diagnosed with cancer. There was no symptoms that he was aware of. There was no symptoms that we as a family were aware of. It came as a very big shock for everyone. My own little mind in that time was fearful. It wasn't truly something that I was terrified of. I don't know, my body, my mind just accepted it right away. Like it's, it's fearful as in like, oh, cancer? But I wasn't so much fearful of like, wow, I'm losing my grandfather. Hear me out. I came to the realization real quick. It hurt still. Pretty knew when, you know, the news came that was going to be the outcome there. That is a negative thought there, but you know, that is the reality behind it. Before that period, y'all, I was never ever really comfortable with marijuana. I had no issue with other people using it. Me personally, when I would use it, I would get anxiety attacks, paranoia, freakouts, like of just, and you know, just like sh your body just shutting down, wanting to go to sleep right away. And like at times, geez, that can be really good, <laughs> using it to just fall asleep. But that is not the true message of what it is there for. As mentioned earlier, it will bring you self-awareness. It will make you more aware of your higher self and of your true potential. I want people to use me as an example for that, okay? If you actually truly hang out with me in person and you know me from school or from my past, before that, that little time period there, like I truly was a completely different persona. I still had my interests like, dancing, riding monocross. But I lost all of that, y'all, for such a long time. I lost all touch with that reality there, and I was so mentally struggling. I was struggling so much. However, when my grandfather... I wasn't aware of my spiritual awakening then. However, I started getting the synchronicity of seeing the number 420 everywhere. Where marijuana came into my life. Two other individuals as well. We started smoking it together. That is when this whole energy switch of awareness took place for me and my conscious and my subconscious mind. Uh, one story is like I was on the way home from Dollarama once with my mother and my sister. We were just we were driving on the highway. I just like 
this energy, it just, it just comes over you. And I look at the clock, was completely zoned out, y'all, like, looking out the window. At this point, still the most depressed little individual there was. <laughs> it was there it is again, like, it's 4, like 420. Like, how is that, why is that grabbing my attention so much? Like, why am I seeing those numbers everywhere? You start to feel like you're making things up deep within my heart, deep within my spirit. Numerology, friends, is real. It's a really big structure of me since those synchronicities started coming and appearing to my awareness. It comes for you. And I was so was smart and aware enough to be like, this is right. I remember having conversations with my parents, like, y'all, I'm seeing this number everywhere. I can now handle marijuana in my system. It's right. You know when things are right in those scenarios. We got this constant repetitive cycle here of me in this flow state of energy. That day, being in the car, and to be able to keep the structure going for this video, I wouldn't have even believed in my true potential to do this. Never would be comfortable for me. My whole perspective changed. I started viewing the whole universe completely differently. Colors got brighter, more synchronicity is just, now it is here constantly without me needing any bit of marijuana in my system. I am still, I am so much more alert and aware of the truth that is there for me. I've never ever confirmed like, oh, marijuana brings out your higher self, your true potential, your true awareness of the reality that we live in here. That was just something that came from my core. To do that research there today and then to read that it's, and to confirm it? It's like, right, I'm doing something right. Marijuana being legalized here, it's happening for a reason. I know a girl shared a post last night on Facebook saying how marijuana helped her overcome her cancer. And then at the bottom of her mother's post there on Facebook, it's like, there is no coincidences, only synchronicity. And that literally, it, even here, it, that just sent chills down my spine here, people, around my neck. Like, that energy. And girl, you got to meet Mac Miller! Like, yes, girl! Like, yes, yes, yes! Oh. You're so, you're so, you're such a blessed girl. Clearly, y'all, the power and potential of marijuana to better us as creatures, as a society, it's real. My grandfather was a very big, heavy drinker. And from my personal belief system, that alcohol there played a huge factor. This news happened for us in the run of three months. Marijuana can stop the development of tumors. It has completely changed the way I have, I structure my thought processes. I'm so on board for you, Justin Trudeau. I am so on board for those liberals, y'all. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> Thank you for those who voted for liberals. This is a huge step here, y'all. Medical research for our society and literally for our planet. I'm going to continue advocating for marijuana and its health benefits, especially regarding mental health. If you are someone that struggles with mental health and you find that your medication, it's not doing what you fully believe you had the true potential to do. After day, after day, and hating it and feeling so disgusting about it, I have been there. Marijuana can completely up your true potential and your bring up the awareness for you to structure your thought processes. You have the same cannabinoid compounds in our body as that, that's in a plant. Yeah, it would just suit the vibe so much better. I, honestly, I'd leave it there. Because the energy I receive here it's from the air. I am now capable of being high on life, high on my own energy. And y'all, like, I'm, I'm at the point now where when I indulge in marijuana usage, it is for creativity, for expanding my consciousness, expanding my awareness. You see how much this little switch, little switch here in our game can truly change our health game. At the end of the day, creatures. I'm not a licensed professional, so do your own research. However, when you do your own research, you are not going to regret it whatsoever. Like marijuana has the potential to raise your energy to a whole nother level. Take care, creatures.